Hi, I'm Dave McGrail. Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. In this segment, we just wanted to talk about extending a hose line when necessary. Item number one, we recommend that an engine company has four separate two and a half inch handline standpipe packs. One of them with a nozzle, two of them regular sections, and then a fourth pack that has a nozzle and an increaser threaded onto the female swivel. This increaser is an inch and a half to two and a half inch increaser. This allows us to have a pack set up one piece, all of the equipment necessary, so that we can quickly extend a hose line inside of a building if necessary. Now obviously we'd like to have an appropriate stretch first, but there are those situations where we're unable to determine the extent or location of the fire, and subsequently later on in that operation we may have to extend the line. I'm going to show you how we can do that efficiently and as safely as possible. Okay, so we're extending a hose line here based on a hose line that came up short from the destination where the main body of fire is. What's going to occur now is we have the original nozzle firefighter, the backup firefighter, two more firefighters coming into the operation here that are bringing an extension hose pack. Those firefighters will bring this extension hose pack in. They're going to stay low to the ground. They're going to follow the hose line up because this is likely a smoke-filled atmosphere. At this location, they're going to set the hose pack down. Notice how the hose pack, the bend of the hose pack is pointed back away from the fire direction. The bend of the hose pack is pointed away from the fire direction. Item number one, one of the firefighters is going to grab the female coupling and the nozzle. He's going to hold on to that very firmly. Now in a smoke filled atmosphere, the firefighter might not be able to see it and he might be able to do, might have to do this by feel. But if he can identify the halfway mark, that's what he's going to grab. He's going to stay low and he's going to start pulling that hose back away from where the nozzle protection is at. They'll do this by feel, likely in a smoke filled atmosphere. And once again, the firefighter up at the front end is holding on firmly so that he doesn't lose the grip on the hose line. At this point, the firefighter is going to ask the original nozzle operator to take the tip off and put that tip in his pocket. The other firefighter is going to take the increaser off. He's going to ask for the other fire for the original firefighter or nozzle operator's hand. He's placing that increaser firmly in that hand so we don't lose it. The increaser goes on to the nozzle where we broke the tip off. After the increaser is in place, this firefighter can thread on the female onto that increaser which basically gives us 50 more feet of hose line now. That firefighter takes a position as the new nozzle operator with a backup firefighter. Upon his command, the original nozzle firefighter is going to charge that extended hose line. Now, with the extension complete, these firefighters now have the ability to advance forward to the main body of fire and knock it down they now have an additional 50 feet to do so. This is what it would look like. So there you have it, an effective and safe way to extend a hose line in an IDLH atmosphere that's smoke filled. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes. This is Dave McGrail. <laughs>